In October, Walmart issued a warning that hasn't been widely discussed but could have significant implications for everyday consumers. While Walmart is no stranger to logistical challenges, this latest warning ties directly into larger global issues like food shortages, supply chain disruptions, and economic instability. In this video, we'll explore why Walmart's October warning is so important, what it means for you, and how it ties into broader global crises. It's critical to understand the background behind this warning to prepare yourself and your family for what might be coming. Number one, global supply chain pressures. The core of Walmart's concern. Walmart's recent concerns about global supply chain pressures are driven by multiple factors that continue to escalate, including rising labor unrest, logistical challenges, and resource shortages. Labor strikes, particularly in key shipping ports across the U.S., threaten to severely delay the import of goods. These ports handle an overwhelming percentage of Walmart's inventory, including food, household essentials, and electronics. A growing issue is worker shortages at these ports and in the transportation sector, which are pushing supply chains to their limits. Strikes are becoming more frequent as workers demand better wages and conditions, leading to operational slowdowns and stalled shipments. Port congestion, particularly along the East and Gulf Coasts, is another significant problem. These vital shipping routes have been disrupted by not only labor disputes, but also a lack of equipment and delays in unloading ships. Walmart, as one of the largest retailers in the world, depends heavily on international suppliers to keep shelves stocked. The increased shipping delays mean that products, from electronics to clothing, may not arrive on time, leaving shelves empty and increasing consumer frustrations. In addition, the ongoing resource scarcity, including raw materials like semiconductors, is hindering manufacturing globally. For Walmart, this means higher operational costs, which may eventually lead to higher consumer prices. Electronics, in particular, face substantial backlogs due to global chip shortages, making it harder for Walmart to maintain its usual stock levels of popular items like smartphones and household gadgets. The complexity of global logistics is magnified by the fact that many suppliers are spread across the globe. Long-distance transportation routes introduce more opportunities for disruptions, especially when combined with geopolitical issues. For instance, increasing tensions in key shipping regions can further delay or prevent the timely delivery of goods. This has led Walmart to issue warnings to suppliers and begin preparations to mitigate the effects of these looming disruptions, ensuring at least some stock is available. Walmart's ability to adapt to these disruptions is limited. While the company has built a robust logistical infrastructure, it cannot single-handedly overcome global crises such as labor strikes or resource shortages. Number two, food shortages. What's driving the crisis? The food shortages that Walmart is anticipating are driven by several major factors that are currently impacting global food production and distribution. One key driver is extreme weather events, which have become more frequent and severe. Droughts, floods, and heat waves are affecting major agricultural regions, such as the U.S. Midwest, parts of Europe, and South America. These events disrupt the production of staple crops like wheat, corn, and soybeans, reducing overall yields and causing volatility in supply. Climate change, which is exacerbating these weather patterns, means that food production systems are increasingly vulnerable to unpredictable disruptions. Another critical factor is the rising cost of energy and raw materials such as fertilizer. Fertilizer prices have surged dramatically, driven by geopolitical tensions and restrictions on exports from major producers like Russia. This is placing a heavy financial burden on farmers, especially in developing regions where input costs have become unsustainable. Fertilizers are essential for maintaining crop yields, and as they become less affordable, crop output diminishes, further tightening global food supplies. Geopolitical conflicts, particularly the war in Ukraine, have also played a substantial role. Ukraine and Russia together supply a significant portion of the world's grains and sunflower oil. The ongoing conflict has disrupted these exports, creating shortages and price spikes in global markets.
Many countries that rely on Ukrainian and Russian agricultural products, including large parts of Africa and the Middle East, have been forced to seek alternative suppliers, often at higher costs. The reduction in available grains has impacted food prices worldwide, contributing to the shortages Walmart is warning about. Beyond these factors, logistical challenges are adding further strain to the food supply chain. High transportation costs, coupled with labor shortages in the logistics sector, are making it difficult to move goods efficiently. Delays in shipping, particularly for long-distance imports, are increasing the cost of getting food products to store shelves. This situation is exacerbating price increases, especially for imported foods that Walmart sources globally. Number 3. Economic Ripple Effect – The Consequences for Everyday Consumers The economic ripple effects of supply chain disruptions and food shortages are poised to impact everyday consumers in profound ways, especially low- and middle-income families. Walmart, as the largest retailer in the U.S., has an immense influence on consumer prices and purchasing patterns, so any shortages it faces will trigger a cascading effect on the broader economy. When supply chains falter and food becomes scarce, inflation is a direct consequence. As supply dwindles, prices for everyday goods rise, which disproportionately affects consumers whose incomes are already stretched. Families are forced to make difficult financial decisions, prioritizing groceries over health care, utilities, or housing. Rising prices don't only affect food, but also extend to essential household items like personal care products and over-the-counter medications, all of which Walmart plays a key role in distributing at affordable prices. If these become scarce or costly, the most vulnerable populations will bear the brunt of the financial strain. This inflationary cycle is compounded by labor shortages and increased transportation costs, both of which drive up the prices of goods on Walmart shelves. As wages fail to keep pace with inflation, the purchasing power of consumers diminishes. For many, this means working with tighter budgets, exacerbating existing financial insecurities. In particular, the stagnation of wages amid rising living costs means that inflation will have a long-term effect, with recovery likely to be slow. Panic buying is another potential issue. As consumers start to see empty shelves or hear rumors of impending shortages, fear can lead to mass buying, further disrupting supply chains and leaving stores understocked. This behavior was observed during the pandemic and could recur as consumers scramble to stockpile essentials, driving temporary shortages even in products that were not originally at risk. Walmart's October warning underscores that consumers should expect not only higher prices, but also more limited availability of goods. This cycle of inflation and shortage is being felt across sectors, from food to medicine to household goods, and Walmart's proactive approach highlights the broader economic consequences that could ripple across every household in America. Number four, stockpiling and prepping. Why you should pay attention. The idea of stockpiling essential goods is no longer seen as an extreme measure, but a smart response to growing global uncertainty. Walmart's recent warning highlights just how fragile supply chains are becoming, and this makes personal preparedness more crucial than ever. Stockpiling can help you stay ahead of disruptions without relying entirely on large retailers like Walmart, whose ability to maintain stock is being stretched by global events. First, focus on creating a reserve of essential non-perishable food items that can last for months or even years. Canned goods like beans, vegetables, and soups are excellent staples. They have long shelf lives and provide critical nutrition in case of shortages. Additionally, dry goods like rice, pasta, and oats should be prioritized because they are calorie dense and easy to store. You don't need to buy everything at once. Gradual stocking of these items can help you avoid the panic buying that often happens when shortages are imminent. It's also essential to stockpile beyond food. Think about everyday household items that could become harder to find during supply chain disruptions, such as toilet paper, cleaning products, and personal hygiene items. These supplies aren't just convenient. They become crucial in an extended crisis where restocking your home may not be possible for weeks or months. Don't overlook first aid supplies, over-the-counter medications, and basic medical tools, as they could become scarce during a widespread disruption. 
storage plays a key role in effective stockpiling. You need to ensure that your stockpile is well organized and stored in optimal conditions to prevent spoilage. Keeping items in cool, dark spaces with controlled humidity will help extend their shelf life. Using airtight containers for dry goods and rotating stock to use older items first ensures that nothing goes to waste. Beyond stockpiling, another layer of preparedness involves sourcing food locally and even producing your own. Farmers markets and community-supported agriculture CSA, programs are great ways to diversify your food sources. This reduces your reliance on large, vulnerable supply chains and supports local producers who are often less affected by global disruptions. Growing your own fruits and vegetables, even on a small scale, can further hedge against shortages. Root vegetables like potatoes and carrots, for example, can be grown in small gardens and stored for months. Preservation methods like canning and dehydrating extend the life of seasonal produce, making sure your stockpile stays varied and nutritious. If you have the space, consider planting a garden with a mix of high-yield crops that store well, such as tomatoes, peppers, and greens. For long-term sustainability, saving seeds from your crops can ensure that you're ready for future planting seasons, providing a continuous food source. Number five, preparing for long-term sustainability. Preparing for long-term sustainability involves shifting from temporary solutions to adopting systems and skills that can help you manage ongoing disruptions and challenges. As supply chain vulnerabilities continue to impact global economies, focusing on self-sufficiency becomes crucial for long-term survival. One of the best ways to achieve this is by developing a sustainable food supply. Growing your own food allows you to minimize your dependence on external systems, especially during shortages or price hikes. Start by cultivating high-yield crops that can be stored for long periods, such as potatoes, carrots, or beans. These crops are low-maintenance and provide essential nutrients. Additionally, fruit trees or herb gardens can complement your diet and add variety, making homegrown food an essential part of your self-reliant strategy. Food preservation techniques, such as canning, dehydrating, and freeze-drying, ensure that you can maintain a long-term food supply even when fresh food is unavailable. Canning is particularly useful for preserving fruits and vegetables, while dehydrating is excellent for extending the shelf life of meats and produce. Learning these skills is essential for creating a stockpile that can last through seasons of scarcity. Another critical aspect of sustainability is creating a reliable water supply. While storing water is important, having a system to purify water is even more essential in the long term. A filtration system, such as gravity-fed or UV water purifiers, allows you to access clean drinking water from natural sources, such as rainwater, rivers, or lakes. Investing in a high-quality water filtration system ensures that you can remain self-sufficient even if public water sources become compromised. Energy sustainability is equally important. Integrating solar panels or wind turbines into your home's energy system can reduce dependence on traditional power grids. These renewable energy sources provide power for essential devices, like refrigerators or communication systems, during outages. Moreover, Energy storage solutions, such as batteries, allow you to keep critical systems running for longer periods without interruption. Long-term sustainability also includes practical skills, like home repairs and DIY projects. Being able to fix household items or build essential tools on your own reduces reliance on external services and saves costs over time. Whether it's basic carpentry, electrical repairs, or gardening equipment maintenance, these skills are invaluable in creating a self-reliant lifestyle.